everybody, it's Roger Care, Roger Care Reviews with a table angle. Um, I'll probably name this new angle for my camera a lot better as time goes on. Anyway, um, here is a week overdue review of uh, Wonder Woman. Um, good news, I did see it uh, over the weekend with my dad, and I had actually cell phone footage uh, with me and him in the car going to go see it, like, you know, preconceptions coming in kind of stuff. But, um, yeah, I had to scrub it for two things. One, not because of this beautiful little kitty here. Uh, YouTube editor, uh, is still not being fixed on my channel yet. I just want to address that, uh, and mainly, um, well, this. Alright, yeah, so where, why are the monkeys still here on the channel? I, I don't know, dude. Dude, I, don't, I just gotta review the movie. Just let me review the movie. No, I wanna know what's going on. I, I don't even know either. I just, like, what is this? I, I hate YouTube sometimes, but... Wait, I don't even know. Seriously. Uh, yeah. I'm out. I think I was going to be hired by Diana to, like, you know, force you to do the review. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to slowly walk away on this one. No, no, Jason, no! So, uh, yeah, aside from the entire channel losing its mind, uh, with the whole card issue, not really card issue, huh? <laughs> Um, quality issue when it comes to the YouTube editing software. I also was slowly losing my mind in my previous video, Car To It. Uh, basically, um, having a quality control issue with uh, movies, Windows Movie Maker. So hopefully it gets resolved with this review. If not, uh, your mileage may vary. I have absolutely no clue at this point. Also, I think, if I'm reading this right, I don't have the timesheet. I switch memory cards, and if uh, anyone wants to see the difference, um, go to any of my previous videos those last couple of months of this year. I think I may have figured out my timesheet uh, issue. It might be, if I'm reading this right, uh, uh, memory cards. So, with all the technicalities aside, let's finally get to uh, my vlog review of Wonder Woman 2017. I liked it. Now, um, also, lighting is a, issues here in this uh, channel room aside, um, I actually thought it was good. I think um, as a first actual live-action theatrical outing for Diana herself, it was actually pretty good. Colorful as hell. And uh, as much as I would love to uh, do a Austin 316 uh, beer bash, uh, uh, one, I don't have beer, and two, I'm recording this at 10 in the morning, so i got to be very sober for work. But trust me, I'm very much celebrating um, the fact that this has actually worked. Uh, hang on. And we have a light, sort of. If my camera could focus. Anyway, um, and if there's any been complaints about me having like a crop top, uh, it's just mainly me trying to play with the angles. So, again, technicalities aside, uh, there will be some minor spoilers for the movie, and I can't really stall any much longer because, like I said, I gotta go to work pretty soon. So, um, whew, where to begin? Um, well, uh, the basics of her origin story, if anyone has read the comics, is that she was born in Famascara, a magical, I guess, Rome, not Greek Empire kind of nation, uh, like, uh, historical fiction on, um, I guess, Roman godhood. Uh, if anyone wants the basics of that, um, also it is an island full of women, uh, warriors known as Amazons. Um, hilariously, if I could find the links, uh, to, uh, Link Carr's, uh, Amazon's attack, uh, uh it was one of those weird pre-New 52 bad stories, because even if it was pre-New 52, there were some bad stories there. Um, I will fight him for freaking, uh, Flashpoint, because I actually think it was a good transition into, unfortunately, a really bad time known as New 52. Now, where does Diana uh, sit with this whole uh, reimagining with her storyline as the years went on? Um, well, uh, the basis of her conception wasn't really birth or anything like that. She was molded by clay by her uh, mom, who was also the queen of uh, Femascara. Uh, the name will definitely escape me at the moment, so card to... Uh, read the card. Uh, link in the description for her, for her mom's name and the character... No, the actress who played uh, her aunt, a.k.a. the general of the entire army... Um, because holy crap, I just found out she was the same actress that was in Princess Bride, so kudos to her to not only still be acting, but 
land a really good gig like this, because I'm not going to, uh, I guess, mess around. Um, trying to be as PC as I can for this, uh, for the sake of my channel. Um, I did indeed, uh, think Gal Gadot was a bit of a hard sell, even for me, even for a lot of people, uh, with BBS here, with her own standalone story. As the character, uh, I think she pulled it off. It was right amount of, like, uh, I guess the attitude you want to look for for anyone trying to be Diana. And I think she nailed it. Um, is there still some CG fights? Yeah, but around it in the production, it looked like she was actually having fun, <laughs> honestly. Um, being the character, having, like, uh, another female director, uh, Patty Jenkins. Again, if I got the name right, um, no IMDb. If I didn't get it right, IMDb, because apparently her directing credit was doing a little Oscar bait movie called Monster. And retro card to that, the less said the better, but however, it is definitely a very good, powerful drama if you all want to see powerful Oscar bait. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, back to the movie itself. Uh, it takes place uh, 50 years uh, earlier than it was intended to be because she was supposed to come back into man's world uh, in World War II uh, as part of the comics, and even if you do got this part right. Apparently for the DCEU, they want to make her uh, story a little bit um, older, like 100 years older than um, World War II itself. Uh, so she went to World War One essentially, throughout this entire um, concept of the movie. Um, Chris Pine being Steve, Steve Trevor was actually pretty good. He actually acted his ass off than I think any uh, Star Trek movie he's done in the past couple of, month, couple of years. I still have yet to see... Uh, Star Trek Beyond, as of this recording, I will, uh, not, you know, de you know, deny you guys my opinion, so I'll give you, like, the, uh, link, link to, um, Cinema Sins' uh, video on, um, Star Trek Beyond, and honestly, despite a few weird moments in the sin card, ding, aside, I might actually, uh, recommend, uh, the movie if it's on Amazon Prime, because I think it was there, if not, if it heads on uh, Netflix, it's kind of okay. Like I, like I said in previous videos, if the sync counter is down like 100 or something, like it stays at 90, I don't know if it did, but if it did, uh, go see the movie uh, for that. As for Chris himself in this one, in Wonder Woman, um, he did a good job. He played Steve Trevor, kind of how he was represented in the TV shows, comics, and even the New 52 movie I saw with this character, uh, Justice League War, a uh, very... <laughs> I guess cringe-inducing retro link if uh, I get it, because even five plus years later, I'm still trying to figure things out here. As far as uh, editing my channel goes, you YouTube. Sorry about that. I was just still pissed about the uh, YouTube editor. Anyway, for Chris, uh, I guess final thoughts on his acting. Um, he did a good job. Uh, again, like I said, it's a World War One version of Steve Trevor, so I guess in an Elseworlds kind of way, he kind of nailed it. Um, he had some. I guess Dirty Dozen kind of characters. I don't know all of them for the sake of me. Um, I guess uh, Link to Cape Joel. I think he tried to explain those characters more than me. Uh, and if he's watching, hey, Cape Joel, what's up? Uh, anyway, um, for all the spoilery things I could kind of mention, if you don't want to know what's going on throughout the action scenes you saw in the trailers, it's actually a better version to the nth degree. Uh, the time she had... Uh, Figuring out Guy's World... I was going to say Guy's World. Guy's World! Uh, yeah, yeah. Wayne's World joke aside. Uh, there were, the whole, I guess, Fish Out of War story actually was better paced than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be a little bit, oh, uh, okay, so she's got to understand this, she's got to hate this, and like... No, nah, they speed it up just fine. I got to give Patty Jenkins that, because I guess even she must have realized it was a cliche at this point. Uh, but for Steve's end, it makes a lot of sense to understand the world, understand the, the last of the truth, and all the other weapons they had. Uh, and... In, uh, I was going to say Amazons, uh, very mascara-wise, and um, I think there was more to it. And the New 52, uh, going back to Diana's retcon origin, yeah, her and Donna Troy had a lot of retcon origins. Uh, Donna not as much, no, actually, Diana as much as Diana, uh, Donna. Getting names mixed up. Um, so, basically, uh, as time went on in the comics, as time went on in the TV shows and stuff, she's... Trying to realize, did I really have, uh, was I really molded in clay? Did I have, like, a god of a father kind of situation? And there have been some, like, Zeus or Ares in this case. Um, I don't think, uh, for, as far as, like, New 52, uh, DZEU Sanders go, because, again, these movies are trying to mirror off of New 52. 
knowing that Reapers just happened last year, what are you going to do, honestly? Um, basically, uh, I think they're going to keep it the Clay story for now until she gets a sequel where it's like, oh, it was real to be Ares, or this god that was really her father all along, or something like that. Like, something out of a, like a godhood version of Mori. You are the father, Ares, or, or, or something like that. Um, and again, if you can be surprised, that is not the most spoilerly thing I have probably said about this movie yet. Um, uh, I, there were like two uh, bookend scenes of her being in the present and basically at a museum trying to like remember the good old days of World War One and what she was trying to do for Man's World as her first outing into the world. Um, and that was basically where the origin story started and ended there. Uh, the whole time I think she was at France, um, I know because of the ad podcast, I'm not supposed to be a little too political, but I am aware of what happened, um, around, you know, the Europe nations. I, again, I have to be vague, but I know what's going on with that attack. My heart's going out to all the guys out there who had to put up with that, and apparently Britain just loves to keep calm and carry on, and I will do the same. Anyway, yeah. Uh, let's get to, I guess, my final thoughts. Uh, I guess, non-spoilers arise for the final thoughts. Please go see the movie. It's actually made over $100 million box office here in the States. I think another 100 mil internationally, so that's about almost to its actual budget. So probably next week and uh, later down the road when it gets to Blu-ray, it'll probably make more than enough money to basically save DCEU from bloating itself. So that's actually pretty good. Um... Cinematography wise, it, it is like I said, extremely colorful. It's not saturated with any grays and stuff like you know this face here, pretty much representing what I mentioned. Um, as far as all the previous DCEU movies I've watched um, for this channel, um, it's actually pretty good. It's it's, it's, it's the humor's not that bad. I, it wasn't like eh, inducing for me, um, and it was actually pretty good. So that's it for the non spoilers. Spoilers wise. I've mentioned Ares a lot in this video, and there's a very good reason why. He does show up, but not as a character you would think. Um, like one of the generals for World War One, and he ended up being one of them. Like he was bumbling and all that kind of stuff. I guess as like his way to like be hidden in plain sight for all these years. Um, and I thought at first it was going to be um, Ares because she was trying to find him all movie. Like, oh, he's responsible for World War One, blah 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 blah. And everyone around her is like, no. Man's world can do this without a god. And that's what they were trying to explain to her as far as the movie goes on. It's another type of god. And as much as I would love to say who it is, I'm not going to spoil it for the sake of, again, to let you guys go see the movie and you know come back here and find out. Um, I think uh, also when I was researching uh, after seeing the movie, I don't think there's a post cred, So if there is, please let me know in the comments down below. And also yell at me for the whole uh, quality control I did previous video. I'll take the heat. I don't really care. Um, anyway, so as my final thoughts aside go, um, it is definitely, uh, I want to say a 10 if I had a rated scale, um, purely because, in, in my heart, it is an instant 10 because it's better than what BV BVS was trying to be, uh, Suicide Squad was trying to be, and hopefully that's a good shot in the arm to get Justice League some well-deserved credibility, give it at least some hope to not completely just destroy what Wonder Woman has already done, uh, theatrically-wise. I don't know. Um, I am also very much aware, uh, that Zack Snyder left the project halfway before the final touches, like, uh, post, uh, post-production stuff. Um, mainly because of family issues, and to him, I truly apologize for what happened to his family. And, um, I think for my next review, uh, I know I'm already previewing, but, again, this is YouTube, uh, not being nice to me with the editor, so I have to preview right here and there. Um, yeah, I might do a Resident Evil Final Chapter after all. You want to know why? Oh, uh, this is going to be kayfabe, uh, uh, postcard. So, uh, like and subscribe, all that noise, previous video here, uh, card two, previous, all right, previous video here, uh, channel here. I'm still trying to figure this out, honestly. End cards, what are you doing to me? Anyway. You want to know why I might actually uh, review um, Resident Evil Final Chapter? Because Felix is doing it, yes! Yeah, yeah, he's going to do it, man. And you know what? I'm all, I'm all for it. And you know what I know also why? Because there's a remake. That damn right! James Wong, you beautiful son of a bitch. 
Good luck and God bless you. Also, uh, make it like Resident Evil 7. I, I know I have a rule not to make it like the, the current game coming up, but no, nah, I actually like Resident Evil 7. I haven't got the game yet, but what I've heard of the story so far is not bad. Wait, seriously? That, that's, that's why we're doing this? Okay, so, uh, this is a technically, uh, right now, well, reviews, uh, I guess, commend, uh, what's, what's that word? Commission. Commission edition with, uh, Diana's help. Uh, she wasn't even here. Ugh! Was I? Yes! Well, uh, he's in a bit of a pickle here, so if this is the end card, and hopefully, uh, Retro's memory cards don't, you know, screw him in the end, uh, like and subscribe and all that noise. Follow him on Tumblr and uh, shoot us a line in the comments if what uh, if you guys really want us to do final chapter finally uh, once and for all. Uh, can I say finally any more times than I could? Oh, and and buy my DLC. Just buy it. Yeah, uh, I think this is a quick edit to myself. No, you dumb idiot. You didn't fix the stupid timesheet. So my bad earlier on in this video. Okay, 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 okay. I'm coming, Diana. I'm coming. Yeah. Uh, this armor is technically locking out the, the whole truth part of it, uh, but not for long, oh my god, she's gonna kill me! Okay, that's that's very truthful, that's, that's actually very truthful. Um, see you next week, and hope like hell my YouTube editor thing gets resolved. If not, uh, I'm taking a week off.